Okay, so now we're just going to show how to import uh, mesh into P3D. So if you saw there, I launched P3D by clicking, clicking on a mesh. We're going to replace the default scene. Now you see here, we have our, our little um, Corvette here that, as an X file, doesn't have the right center. Now, one can move all those individual pieces that we're going to see here. You see the mesh has seven pieces inside. You could move them all and try and align them and spend the better part of your evening trying to get that done. Or you can simply move the pivot. If you see what I'm doing here, I'm trying to align the mesh. Now, that's not too bad. That's pretty close to what I wanted. Maybe I'll move that back a little bit there. Now, we have just about got, there we go, we've just about got it the way I like it. So, that looks what I want. There we go. Now let's get rid of that silly mean access display, it was bugging me. So here's our, uh, our mesh, that's where we want it to be. Now, if you'll notice, the pivot is the thing that has all these position entries. Now, you can edit an entry directly for position or rotation or scale if you want to put absolute positioning, or you can use the gizmo. The gizmo is way easier, of course. Um, so, that doesn't solve the problem of we've got all these little meshes and they're stuck in something that's not centered. Now the main container is centered, so that's not too bad. You can just leave it like that. But it might come into some problems later when manipulating them. So let's just look at this as the average imported X scene. We have a tool that I built into uh, P3D, and you can release the children. Now this is special. If you release all the children from a selected end, in this case we're going to release them from the pivot, um, it's going to throw them into the scene root. But first it's going to see if you want to kill them all, because maybe you just want to clean a con an int. Maybe you just want to get rid of all the children of that particular int. In this case, we want to keep its children. Now look what it did. We have our original container mesh, our pivot, and all those internal meshes got thrown down to the scene. Well, this pivot isn't useful to us anymore. Let's kill it. It's gone. We're going to use a neat trick here and select uh, the hull and or the container mesh and we're going to set that as the target. We've now made that as the receiving target for set parent commands. And let's just call this the hull. And we've set its name. Now if I click this mesh and then go set parent, it's now a parent of hull we can go even faster if I uh, just click set parent over here. You see? And we just keep setting the parent. Now batch add layer is going to uh, speed that part up. But now you have what you really want to have in nuclear fusion. You have an entity that is in reset mode, which is everything as far as position and rotation zero and the scales are all one. The meshes on the inside, now you notice some of them, they all have positions in them now. Interesting, right? Well, we have a tool for this going to make your life easier. So take your first one and fix mesh. What this is going to do, it's going to bake its position. You see that? It's now permanently there and has its, or, its uh, origin moved to the world origin in this case because we're, when you're adjusting a mesh you really want it to be that way. Um, you can leave them like this if you want because maybe that's a part that wants to move around. So what I'm going to do 
is I'm going to try and identify this mesh right quick. And a neat way to do that is just flip it. Okay, so it's the engine, if you can see it moving back there. Well, we'll maybe we'll leave the engine there. Find this one. Oh, that's part of the gun. So, let's have a look here. Barrel. Oh, that's the main hull. So, yeah, we really don't want the main hull to be offset, so let's fix that mesh. Now, we just baked the main hull. So that it's centered on the true center that we were just setting up. It's really not that hard. Again, you can watch this video again a few times. Now to save that, we're going to save it as Corvette 1N. And yes, we want to replace it because we were playing with that earlier. It doesn't matter what's in it. Uh, sure, save the textures. It's not a bad habit to be in. Now, we can... Uh, kill that mesh. You can do it right clicking or whatever. Uh, P3D automatically selects the next the next item in the list. You can uh, push L or enable the, the lights. That'll show <laughs> the lights on or not, but we'll get into that later. What I just want to do now is we're going to open normal because you don't want to replace the light. We're going to open that uh, Corvette now. You see how it is there, all nice and clean, and that's exactly how it's going to load into your uh, into your game, all ready to go. And that's it, ready to go, proper center, and that's all there is to that. Thanks for watching.